because we should have enough to get some more health, and that'll also refill our health. But yeah, maybe instead of in between parts, now that I can't really guarantee that I'll be getting uh, the levels done in one part, because I don't think that they get like I. To be fair, I mean, oh, although well, well, no, because it didn't take that long. Because I mean, I didn't really like. I feel like I went through that level pretty quickly and got everything. Um. Yeah, there's another extra energy health and as you see we only have two left to get one worth seven and one worth nine so it'll take us a couple of levels in order to get the rest of those uh, our, there it is. and then as you know we got our cheeto page or enough cheeto pages for another one which is probably just going to be the eggs cheat not gonna lie i mean it's not the most useful, but at the same time, 50 grenade eggs. So it's also not the most useless. And then we'll unlock Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And then yeah, next part we'll uh we'll head on in. There's uh, uh there's a good chance that that one will also have to be cut in half, but I mean there's not much I can do about that. Like Banjo 2 is significantly longer than Kazooie, than the first game. Uh, and all the levels are much bigger than any of the levels in the original. So, yeah, odds are from this point on it'll just be, it'll have to be two parts per, per level. Yeah, second sheet is eggs. Yeah. Thanks, Cheeto. It's a fairly worthless one, but... But it's something. Like I said, 50 grenade eggs is pretty good. Because once you get them, outside of, like, specifically needing a different egg, um, for some sort of challenge, like maybe you need the fire eggs to light something up, and then, like, some of the other eggs we get later, you know. Other than that, it's all grenade eggs. Like, if you need to damage something, grenade eggs. There's a lot of stuff that you need to blow up, grenade eggs. I mean, yeah, there's honestly very few things that that the grenade eggs can solve. Like, your normal eggs become obsolete, especially once we, uh, we finish Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Because after Jolly Roger's Lagoon, we actually might have... Once again, depending on how long it takes, assuming we can get it done in one part, um, we'll, we will definitely have an in-between part, uh, because a couple of the... Actually, how many skills do we learn in Jolly Rogers? I'm remembering two of them, one of which is useful outside of the level, or out, in the outside world. We need to get... Uh, we need it for a few things. Oh, it's just an edge piece. I couldn't tell. Um, and one of which is, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's just Kazooie's attack move, uh, for when she's outside of the backpack, which is, just like Banjo's, not the most useful thing in the world. Uh, and they're the only two I can think of that, oh, and then, right, that one. So, I mean, that one's it. But yeah, basically there's one skill in there that will unlock a few things for us, including the area that lets us use the, uh, that lets us, oh, although, oh yeah, that lets us use the ice key. Oh yeah, this is also where the overworld um, mumbo hut is. Uh, there's nothing we can do with it as of yet. Um. Is there two? There might be two things that we use it for. I can only remember one at the moment, but there might be two. Yes, yes, I am indeed the chosen one. Because I can unlock the next world. I can probably unlock the next couple worlds as well, but not going to. Uh, oh no, that's... 
Oh yeah, that's right. That's where it is. Now. Plateau. Um. But yeah, I'm trying to remember how many things does we need the ability from the next world in order to unlock the area that um, the fifth world is in. Obviously, same as like we need this. We needed the split up ability from Witchy World in order to unlock where Jolly Roger is. And, um, it's also really annoying because like we were at full health and then we split up. And Banjo for some reason lost two health and Kazooie lost one. But like if you're at full health, you should just be at full health, right? Yeah. Boosh. But here's our new egg. I think this one's ice eggs. Yeah. Uh, these come in handy in the next part. They're required, actually, for the next level. Now, the weird thing is, right, is like they give you the ice eggs. And then they show you that guy down there. And it's like, haha, there's some secret with that. There isn't. As far as I'm aware, that enemy down there is just down there. Because it's not like if you remember... My Spyro Let's Play forever ago, when we did You're the Dragon, there was that one level where they give you Ice Breath, and then you could freeze guys and step on and j jump on them. That's not a thing in this game. If you freeze an enemy, they're just frozen. Uh, you cannot use them as a platform, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it'll hurt you. Actually, it may even still hurt you if you touch them, but it stops them from moving. Um, but they're fairly worthless to fight enemies because once again, grenade egg, just, just pop them with a grenade and then they're dead and you don't have to worry about it. Um, oh, I also forgot to actually go and use the egg chain. But yeah, this is the train station for here. There's no point in calling the train here right now because you can't do anything with it. Um, and yeah, we have Mumbo Skull there. Um, we don't have the... Globo for it, but I'll see. I don't think there's anything else in this skull. Because there really isn't that much in terms of collectibles in the overworld. Uh, like, obviously, you have the Jinjos. Uh, the Jiggies from the Jinjos, but I mean, even like the Jinjos themselves aren't really out here. Uh, but yeah, we can go over here. We'll open up that fast travel. That's to Yi Lagoon. So that's obviously to Jolly Rogers. And if we go down here, we have this button. Which raises this bridge, which actually leads us to another level that we have not unlocked yet. Obviously. Man, maybe there was enough for an in-between part. Yeah. Whatever. Just gonna throw it at the end of the other one. Alright. But yeah, Thankfully, no timer or anything. It's just there. Uh, but we can come over here and get... Yeah, yeah, thanks. I guess I never really got close to one of those before, did I? I need... Five? Jesus, what? I don't know what that symbol on the left means. Maybe it means it's like the fifth world. I'm not sure. That... Come on. Up here. May as well grab the Globo while we're here. Uh, and if you're wondering, yes, those were the sticky... Sticky climb? Sticky feet? Shoes? I don't remember what they're called. Uh, and no, I, I, they cli you climb that with it, I don't remember what's up there. I really don't. Uh, but we'll go and give Mumbo his Globo just to set him up. For later. Uh, maybe I will just cut Witchy World in two and make this its own its own in-between section. I mean, I mean we were at what now we're in ten, I think my recording was when we finished Witchy World. So depending on how long this takes, even if it's only ten minutes, it's still ten minutes. Just as long as the rest. I didn't realize I actually had this much to do in between parts. Um but yeah, there we go. Mumbo's activated, and then we're just going to immediately toss him back, because we have zero use for him currently. And then we'll go and enter our cheat code, our egg code.
code, and then I think that'll be that'll be everything we can do in before going into Jolly Rogers. So back to the Wooded Hollow because I've got to do it. Oh, you know, I actually wouldn't mind the levels all going over an hour and then me splitting them. I'm not going to try to do that by any means. I mean, if a level is under an hour long, then it's under an hour long. And it'll be its own part. Like, I won't cut it in half just because. Um, but yeah, what, basically once I hit like an hour and ten, I feel like I should cut them in half. I don't know why. I mean, like... Obviously, I have videos that I've released that are over that, but I don't know. Okay. And then... Eggs. The eggs sheet will double the maximum number of eggs that you can carry. Once again, it's just like a... I don't know, I guess quality of life cheat. I mean, the same as the... Same as the double the feathers. But yeah, as you see, we now have 200, 150, and 100. And like I said before, pretty much the only egg we use is uh, grenade eggs. Because like I said, there's very little reason to use anything else in this game. Uh, outside of the specific instances. Alright. So now I'm pretty sure that is everything we can do in between. The only jiggy that we're missing in... Litter Gulch we can't get yet because we need Springy Step Shoes, which we won't get until, once again, the Dinosaur World. Um, and yeah, everything is ready for us to go into Jolly Rogers, so uh, that'll be it for this part. Uh, you'll know which part it is, but I honestly don't know if this is going to be... I'll have to... Well, let's see. I'm going to be going hour 23, so yeah, it was definitely over 10 minutes, almost 15, so I'll probably just do that. I'll probably cut... Well, I mean, once again, you'll know. But yeah, I think I'm just going to cut Witchy World into two and release, and then, you know, after we leave Witchy World, I'll release this as its own in-between part. And that means that I'm actually done recording Banjo for this week, which is really fast, actually. But hey, gives me more free time, so hey, maybe I can finish oh, Saints Row 3 today then, because I don't have, well... I don't know if I'd be able to finish the DLCs with it. I haven't finished the main game yet, but that'll be it for this part. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next week, I guess, for more.